my name is Dushyant and uh, I'm from Delhi. Hi, I'm Harin, I'm from Bombay. Hi, I'm Middle and uh, I am from India, Bombay. Hi, my name is Sonia and I moved to San Francisco about a year ago from Mumbai. Talking about Bombay, the well-known Mumbai. Being a Delhiite, I know Bombay is not too far away and I've been there so many times and it just sickens me to my stomach when I heard about something like this that's happened and that's affected our country in such a strong way. I've worked in Mumbai for about two years as a media person. So I've seen the making of all the Bomb Blast news myself. Though I was in the graphics department, but I definitely saw all, all the Bomb Blast myself. 9.30 p.m. with firing at Cafe Leopold. That's a popular restaurant in Kolaba area of South Mumbai. This is a place we know frequented by foreigners. Another group of people that were perhaps targeted in these attacks. Uh, uh, next came the CST uh, railway station. Uh, at least two men armed with AK-47s opened fire in the passenger uh, hall of uh, CST railway station and also lobbed grenades. At least 30 people we know were injured there and commandos were then rushed to the station. Terrorism, according to me, uh, has no religion. These people are just uh, heartless, ruthless, and uh, they have no culture, they have no feelings. I came to know about this when like, I was sleeping and I got like few messages from my friend. I heard about this when I was, in fact, I was just surfing online and my brother just sort of emailed me and said, you know, put on the news, see what's going on. Hostages are bought out, but the standoff at the Oberoi and Nariman house continues. As efforts to break the crisis escalate, so does the damage to the Heritage Taj Hotel. At 2 a.m. early Friday morning, a fire breaks out in the hotel's central dome. Some guests are evacuated, but the war is far from over. Well, I was kind of shocked as anybody else is, but I was not taken aback considering the situation in the world. We invited all the conditions ourselves. When I came here, it feels I, I feel more emotional about the whole story and feel sad the way the rest of the world looks at whatever is happening in my nation. Through the night, gun battle continues. As Saturday morning dawns, a string of explosions are heard from within the building. At 7.30am, the gun battle intensifies. A fire breaks out in the lobby and the first floor of the heritage building. At around 9 a.m., firing stops. Finally, the sign the nation has been waiting for. NSG commandos come out, smiling. All three terrorists inside the building have been killed. Exactly 60 hours after it started, the battle for the Taj is over. I did lose a ninth standard teacher of mine from school. And she was really dear to me. And I didn't know what the pain was until I actually found out about her death. Your My friends have lost a lot of people and uh, it was really hard to get it that night and uh, I could feel it over here with my heart about what people are feeling over there in Mumbai. I feel kind of sorry for not being there and being so helpless about the whole idea and I hate it when people call it the spirit of Mumbai that whenever there's a bomb blast, people after a few days recover from the, the trauma and the pain and all that they have seen. To change the society, we have to change ourselves. As Mahatma Gandhi says, be the change we want to create in the world. Unless we change ourselves, one act of kindness at a time, we can change the society. I also just think that everyone in this country, I know a lot of people in India don't vote. I really think that every one of us should take this as a lesson and we should vote every year, come what may, each one of us, because these are the ministers that we choose. It is a good spirit though, but Let's not use it as an excuse. I would say I, I think it's high time that we just start doing something about it instead of just calling it the spirit. So the only way you can stop that is to start thinking about poverty. Start thinking about kindness from the heart level. Believe me, if I was there, I would have done that as well. Like It, it happened during tsunami and we did it then. And I guess that I would do it again, like as a family or as like as a bunch of friends, we would definitely go into hospitals and help out as much as I could. You guys are all Indians. We love each other. You guys are brothers. You guys, we have our own culture. We follow our family rules.